Hi everyone, this is Lori here from Lori Hooks. Welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me today. So today's video is a um, yarny catch-up. So I have some items that I've been working on um, as well as a small acquisition and um, you know just some random chatting. It always comes along with it. So um, the weather has started to change here. I live uh, just outside of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Um, our weather has started to change in the last probably week, a little bit more than that. Um, you know, it starts off with cooler at night. Um, the temperatures were staying pretty stable during the day and at nighttime it gets cooler. And now it's starting to get cooler during the day as well. So. Like, for example, this morning, it was, um, I think, five or six degrees outside Celsius. So that's, um, I looked it up, five Celsius is 41 Fahrenheit. Um, and we did have another morning that was about that cool a few days ago. So um, the daytime temperatures, they're not too bad. I've forgotten what it was yesterday, but I got around, like, in the afternoon, I just had a very light sweater on so that's not too bad and I haven't broke down and had to turn on my heat yet so that's a good thing as well right now it's about 19 degrees in my house celsius so I think that's I think that's a little under 70 I think that's around 68 I think I'm guessing um so that's where we are at weather wise um Work wise has been stressful lately. Um, just a lot going on. Very busy. Um, a lot to do and stressful things to do. So um, when I've had my time to crochet, it's been more of um, the mindless stuff, you know, something to just crochet and or knit and just chill out. That's what I've needed right now. So been going to be all mindless projects. Um, nothing finished, but I have been working on a few things. So first of all, and I showed this last week, um, this is the Annie's Love to Crochet Stitch Sampler Carryall. This is what the pattern looks like, and this is what the bag looks like from them. And I have finished the bag portion. So I finished the bag, sewed out the um, they have you single crochet the bottom together so it's not a boxed bottom which I would have preferred but that's what it's looking like um, and in terms of do I like the bag did I like working on the bag all those kind of things um, I don't like all these color changes so I will show you what I mean so these here where you're changing colors every two stitches. These rows take a long time. So, and you've got to, you know, you crochet the one, you got to pull the back color so that you make sure that it's nice and tight. And then you crochet the next one. Um, I find it a little aggravating. I find it aggravating that the row takes me two or three times longer than a regular row. But got it done. That was what I wanted to do. I forced myself to finish it and I'm happy with the bag. So I had um, crocheted together the bottom of the bag earlier today and um, this morning when I first got up while I was having my coffee. And then I, um, the next step is to make the I-cord handle, which I'll show you the picture again. So that's this. You make three I-cord uh, straps and then you braid them together. And I've never made an I-cord before, so I did do a little tiny bit of an I-cord. I've got it. Um, I'll show you my little bag here. So I, this is what the yarn came in. These are the colors. So I did start the first little piece of I-cord. Um, oh yes, I did use the recommended crochet hook, which is a 2.75 millimeter. I'm using the clover. I like my clovers. Um, so I crocheted this much as the, of the I-cord. And the way they have you do it, because I've seen different 
I-cord patterns. This one they have you chain three, skip the first chain and um, yarn over, pull up a loop, and the second stitch from the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop from the second, the third stitch, so now you're in the first stitch. So now you have three stitches on your hook and then you pull the first two stitches off and then you yarn over and pull up a loop in the first stitch. So of course, unless you're holding on to those two stitches really tight, because it pulls on the third stitch, you can lose the stitch. And this yarn is, I don't know how well I can show this. I will try to show it. It is a little, no, it's not showing at all. It is a little splitty. So it ends up splitting also when you do this because you kind of pull it halfway and then you're trying to get it back on because you got to get them back on again on the hook and pull them. So then I'm, I did like this, I did probably about half of this and then I'm looking at it going, I could knit this way easier. I am now multi-talented and I can knit as well as crochet. There's got to be a way to knit this. So I decided, okay, I'll do a couple more rows and I think that I'll get how to knit it. So then as a beginner knitter, I'm still like, hmm, I'm not sure. So then of course, what do we all do? We get on YouTube. So I did find a video where they did a knit eye cord and I would think that it would look exactly the same as this and a lot easier to do. So I think I'm going to knit the eye cord instead of crocheting it because I think it's going to take me way less time and a lot less frustration. So that is my next steps. So again, this is Annie's Love to Crochet Knit Clubs, um, I mean Crochet Club. So it comes with their yarn. It is 100% cotton and it is a three weight. Um, it's nice yarn to work with. It's not so splitty that it's hard to work with normally. Um, so that way it's okay. In terms of how well the pattern's written, there's a few things that are weird about this. They have you, they give you all these colors. Let me put this one back in the bag. Sorry about the bag, crinkling baggy noises. They give you all these colors. So this is main color. This was color A, uh, B, C, D. So color D, the only places that color D is in this bag is in these two, this two rows here and these two rows here. So there's tons of it left, but in the picture, it looks like color D is also these berry stitches, which I don't know why the berry stitches aren't color D in the pattern, but I read that pattern, this pattern very carefully, and it says to do the berry stitches in the main color. So it's kind of strange. The other thing is, excuse me, there's a lot of um, single crochets in the back loop. And it's like they got mixed up on where the back loop one row should be versus the front loop once we started, once we got past the center section. So the very center of the bag is those berry stitches. And then when you start to work up here, when you read the pattern, some rows where there should be back loops, single crochets, they're not. And some places where they're single crochets, or they should be single crochets, they're back loop ones. So in my opinion, now, my opinion's not always right, of course. In my opinion, I think they have some errors in the pattern. Um, but I figured it out. I did it the way that I thought it should be. It is my article. Um, and so, you know, I'm making the item. I'm going to do it the way that I think that it should be. And that's the way that I think it should be. If you're making a handmade item, there's no rights. There's no wrongs. It's yours. You make it yours. You make it the way that you think that it should be. So anyways, so I think there's a couple little errors in the pattern. It wasn't a huge deal. Um, got through it. Not a big deal. Anyways, so I have lots of yarn left, which is the case that it's been with everything that I've made out of these kits so far. Um, but it's really nice cotton. So I'm sure that I could, you know, even if I just make some really pretty multicolored dishcloths. Sure, that would be great. So I think I'll have lots left after I'm done with these eye cords, especially because it's only in three of the five colors. And of course it's in the same three colors that the majority of the bag is. So I'll have lots left. 
So that is my crochet bag. And the other thing that I've been working on this week is um, my knit socks. And I don't remember where I was at last week. I think I was just past the hill for some reason. So this is where it's at so far. This is the first time I've done this heel. This is a short row heel. It just happens to be there's a color change right in the dividing spot in the short row heel. It's just the way the color change happened to be. I didn't do that. Um, so that is my socks so far. And these are made with this Mary Maxim bamboo stripes. This is what my messy skein looks like. This is very nice yarn. It's very soft, very nice to work with. This is 50% superwash wool, 25% nylon, 25% bamboo, and the color of this is Coral Reef. And I really like this yarn. So that is my socks. Well, sock, because it's the first one. And acquisition. Um, yarn is 30% off this week at Michael's Canada. Did I need more yarn? No, but I was driving past Michael's and I felt the need to stop in and take a look. So I did buy a couple things. I bought two of these, which are Payton, Patton's, Payton's Classic Wool Worsted. And the color that I bought is Dark Gray Mix. And this is a medium four weight. Uh, recommended knitting needle is 4.5 millimeter. Recommended crochet hook is 5 millimeter. And this is 3.5 ounces for 100 grams. 194 yards, 177 meters. And it has 100% pure new wool made in India. And I bought two of these. I'm holding the wrong one. There are two of these though. There we go, two of these. Um, so I did buy these to make a cowl for my husband. And for me, I can work with wool. It's fine if it's on my hands. Um, I could wear wool on my feet, um, but on my neck, no, I cannot. It's, it's too scratchy for me, I'm too sensitive. Um, I thought my husband would be okay with this. It is a little bit scratchy, but not bad. Not bad at all. Um, that I thought he would be okay. I brought it home and um, had him rub it on his neck and he says he doesn't think so. So I think what I might do though is crochet up a little sample and put it in the washing machine and have him try it again and see if it's okay. Because I do like the yarn. I think it's really nice. Um, and I think it would work really nice for what I'm making. Um, so the reason why I'm persistent that I use wool for this, um, this is for a neck warmer for my husband. Um, he snowmobiles and what happened basically last year was that they were out during the day. It was chilly out, but the sun was out. Um, and so, you know, in the morning when they left, it was cold. Um, during the course of the day, it warmed up a few degrees. At that point, he starts to sweat a bit because he's, he's a sweater. Um, he starts to sweat his, you know, everything starts to get damp. His t-shirt's damp, his, um, the item that he had on his neck and his balaclava that he was wearing, they got all damp. Um, and then they continued to snowmobile into the evening. They were out actually quite late that night. And then by the time they got back home um, to my parents' house where they had snowmobiled from, um, it was like 9 or 10 o'clock at night. It was cold outside and now because he's damp, he's cold because that dampness is now all freezing up. So I think with wool, wool wicks better that it's not going to hold the dampness so much. 
that hopefully it should keep him warmer. Um, at least that's what I understand about the properties of wool is that it should work out better. Um, so that's the reason why I'm kind of persistent about using 100% wool to make um, a neck warmer for him like a cowl. So um, anyways, we'll see where I end up with it. I also do have um, a couple of, of um, hanks that I bought of um, let's put away somewhere. It's wool. It's, um, super wash though. It's really soft. Um, the issue with it is just that it's, um, a sport weight. It's not worsted weight, so it's going to take me a lot longer to work it up. Um, but I will just use that if this does not wash up well. So that is two of the skeins that I bought, and I bought two skeins of this this is Loops and Threads Wool Like. There's two different colors here. This gray one is... Well, first I'll give you the details of Wool Like. Wool Like is 95, sorry, 85% acrylic, 15% nylon. Um, the skein is 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 678 yards, 620 media, meters. It is a super fine. Recommended kneading needle is 2.75 millimeters. Recommended crochet hook is 3.5. The washing instructions I have trouble with because I can't. It looks like it's wash and dry. And the color of this one is charcoal. The gray is charcoal. And the this one is teal lake. Um, these are really soft. Um, I've never used them before, but they are really soft. They look like they're going to be really nice to work with. Um, and again, yarn was 30% off, so I bought them. So that is my acquisition. Um, and so the last thing that I wanted to talk about today is um, I have somebody who follows me and watches my videos and she writes to me. Um, she's a really sweet lady and, um, I'm not going to say her name because, um, I didn't discuss with her first or anything, so I'm just not going to say her name. Um, but she has breast cancer and, um, I just like for those of you who pray and if you don't pray, then, you know, if you can just send her some good vibes, um, you know, the treatments are hard on her. She's not feeling well. Um, she doesn't feel like knitting. She doesn't feel like crocheting. She's also a sewer. She doesn't feel like sewing. She has gotten a, you know, a little bit of sewing done, but, um, you know, she's not enjoying it. And then because she's not feeling well, it's not coming out the way that she would like it to be. Um, but if you do pray or if you don't pray, then we could send her some good vibes then, you know, I hope these, um, I pray that these treatments that she's getting are working, that they are, um, you know, getting the cancer out of her body and that they are healing her and that, um, you know, that, I don't know the correct way of wording it, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping that you can do is you can, um, think of her, pray for her, send her good vibes, um, you know, that she's getting better, that the doctors are doing everything that they can. They're giving her the best method of treatments and that, um, you know, she'll feel a little bit better. Um, yeah, so that is, that is my message for today. So, um, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for, um, liking. Thanks for subscribing. And, um, I will see you next time on Lori Hooks. Bye everyone.